Dude, I absolutely love this car. Love it. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, yeah, I love this car. If this only came in a manual, in the new generations, especially the Hellcat, I would probably be buying that car next year. But by any chance, if FCA or SRT is watching this video, why have you not come out with a manual in the Charger? I'm begging you, and I'm sure many other people are begging you guys as well, so if by any chance you see this, please, for the life of me, make a manual Charger, and I will be in line for a Charger Hellcat. So anyway, like I said, to get these new rotors on and pads because my brakes right now suck you totally could you totally felt that and I, I wasn't just speeding around being a dumbass I was just speeding up quick so I can brake at a higher speed just to show you guys how warped my rotors actually are right now so hopefully not hopefully we will be changing that today all right guys so that quick little intro you just saw was from about two to three hours ago I had to run home quick before I was going to Kevin's to take care of something quickly. And about an hour and a half later when I was ready to head out, got in my car and that's when my charger broke. So my gearbox, I cannot literally take my gearbox out of park to put into drive. That's locked out right now. So I first got in and I was like, what the heck's going on? Turned off my car, restarted it, thought maybe something was just messed up. Same thing. Then I disconnected my battery reconnected it and same thing i was like man what a, what a time right now to run into a problem like this so i went inside quick searched a few things on the forums watched the video quick and found out that, th that this is actually a common problem from 2005s and 2007s chargers magnums and chrysler 300s um, so basically the part that has gone wrong is actually a transmission shifter interlock lever. And that's basically spring driven to allow you to go from park to reverse to neutral drive and so forth. Um, like I said, that is a common problem where those just break. And unfortunately and coincidentally, it just happened to me right now. Um, I did find a quick fix that I can do right now just so I can get my charger running and drive. Um, but it's something that I have to address and take care of as soon as I can. I did search online and found out that there is a Dodge Chrysler floor shifter recall for those years um, that I fell into. So I should be able to get that no problem fixed by Chrysler. I'm going to see if they can just give me the part and I can do it myself. Then I can actually take a video for you guys to show you exactly what it is if, if you run into this problem. It's not a huge deal. It's just a pain in the ass right now because I ran into this when I had a few other things going on. Um, it's Sunday right now while I'm filming this, so I couldn't take care of this today. So hopefully tomorrow, Monday, I will address this problem as soon as I can to get this fixed. Uh, the other second thing that I ran into was after I did this quick fix, which I'll show you guys in a second, um, I got my car in drive so I can move it. And I pulled into my driveway and I was just going to basically do my brakes. Then the other thing I ran into was the asshole that whatever took off my wheel and put my wheel back on last stripped the hell out of not one, not two, not three, but four of my wheels. All of my wheels had at least one stud that was completely trashed that I couldn't even get the lug nut off. So I couldn't get a single wheel off. So yeah, it was just those two, two things that I ran into today. It was just a pain in the ass and holding things up. Um, they're not really like crazy things to fix. They're pretty easy. Um, it's just a pain because I got a lot of stuff going on this week. I'm sure everybody else does too. I'm not just complaining here. Um, but I am actually in the process of leaving New York quickly for a short-term job assignment into Tennessee. Um, I will do a separate video on that explaining what's going on. Um, don't worry, content will be continually coming to this channel every week. Um, so that will not put a hinder on the channel whatsoever. I will go into a more in-depth video shortly for that. That'll be out really soon. Um, but anyway, let's get back to the quick fix that I have for this gearbox right now. All right, so a little trick to get your car out of park so you can actually drive it right now. Um, first, we're going to take out this little money tray, storage tray, whatever you want to call it. Take that out. And then we're going to take this trim piece out around your gearbox. 
this literally just pops right out just like that put that over to the side all right so one way to find out if it is that spring that's broken in that transmission shift interlock lever um, you can see this pinkish piece of plastic if you're able to push that in you may be able to pull yourself out of park um, but I, I, unfortunately I can't show you that guys right now because I have my one hand on my camera and I have to pull that in well as well but it, it didn't work so that shows that there is a spring broken off of that interlock lever so the quick fix of what we can do to get ourselves out of park is obviously start up your car first and then let's see if I can do this with my hand on this camera. So you're just gonna grab a pencil and you're gonna put it down right into here. And then you're gonna push towards the passenger side. This is like a secret code, it's pretty cool. Push towards the passenger side, put your foot onto the brake, and oh, guess what? Boom, we are in drive. You can toggle basically between drive, neutral, and reverse, but the second you put yourself back in park, and I'll show you, then, then you can't get out of park again. My foot's on the brake right now, just to show you guys. I can only go over that far and really not down because it's broken. So uh, again, you're just gonna have to take that pencil, go down and in right above the park, and then you're gonna push towards the passenger side, and boom, there's the trick. I got it put apart. Alright, so that's what I'm basically going to have to do right now to get my car out of park and into drive. I hope to resolve this problem, hopefully within the next 48 hours or so. I'm not going to expect to walk into the next dealership and for them to have this part on shelf and just throw this in my car. Even though that would be fantastic. Like I said, I'm going to try to get this part myself to do the install so I can show you guys a video of what you would need to do if by any chance you ran into a problem such as this. Uh, but th it's not a huge big deal, it's not a big deal whatsoever. But it was just a frustration between this and then my wheel studs. Not getting my wheels off to do my brakes and so forth. Shit happens, it's life, I understand that. Uh, but I am glad that it's not a bigger problem, which it could have been. But I'm just glad that I got this back on the road and it's in drive and I could just forget about this morning. Why? Because I have a heavy. leave a smile on your face all day thank you guys again for tuning in please hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time take care